My name is Eric Crown. I'm a documentary filmmaker. And when I heard that they were rescuing Canoon, I was really excited to get the opportunity to come out and see what this experience was like. My name is E-R-I-K, C-R-O-W-A, just so you have that one. <laughs> on there. So through uh, Unchained Elephants and through my friend Vicky, uh, who has worked in conservation and has been saving animals for a long time. So when I saw that she was working on this project, I really wanted to get involved and help in any way that I could. Uh, I was lucky enough to, to come along on this journey and bring the camera and help document it, and it was really one of the most amazing experiences uh, I've ever had. My favorite part really was watching him interact yesterday with other elephants and be out in the wild, and to see him for his first day unchained. You know, we, we got into town and immediately they were gonna load Canoon into the truck. Um, <clears throat> and so we got to see him in his old place first. And he just jumped right onto the truck uh, as if he knew he was going to a better place and be happy. And then it was really amazing to watch this team work together and you've got close to 10 people all coordinating, working together to bring this elephant over five hours in a truck on the road to this new sanctuary. And then the next day we got to see him and you could see him starting to loosen up and starting to relax and unwind. And uh, it was really, that, that was a transformative moment for me to be able to see one animal to go from tense and you know clenched up and kind of nervous to just uh, you can really feel it and sense it so the work that unchained elephants is doing is incredible and being here at blessed has been amazing because this place is unlike any other i've ever seen this is a huge amount of open space and a lot of love given to these elephants and, uh, yeah it's really um, it's, it's beautiful to know that places like this exist in a world that doesn't pay a lot of attention to our, our animal relatives. I think a new story is extremely important, but can also work as a, a story of hope for all other animals that are in chains, in cages, and living against their will in a way that some human decided. So it's really nice to know that this place of love is here to counterbalance everything else these animals go through.